Well, hello there. Today, I wanted to do a quick video and just tell you that if you'd watched my channel intro video, you'd know about my struggles with depression, anxiety, stress and that sort of thing. That sometimes makes it near impossible to do things. You just have no motivation at all. But anyway, having said that, I want to try and do a video for you. Probably not once a week. That's probably not real, not realistic for me. But uh, I'd say once a fortnight might be achievable. Uh, and I want them to be something of interest, not just video for the sake of video. But anyway, what I'm going to do now, you've heard about the super match. I've seen various versions. People creating various versions. I'm going to show you my version, but first I want to clean out the fire pit. And that box I just moved is a, uh, a barbecue kit. It's a steel pole you bang in the ground, which has a barbecue plate and hooks to hang your Dutch ovens from. Or as we call them in Australia, we don't call them a Dutch oven, we call them a uh, camp oven. So I'll just clean this rubbish up. Excuse the noise. Now I was actually going to light a fire as well and hose the wood so it was wet because my understanding of a super match is it helps you get a fire going when the wood's wet. It burns long enough to dry out the tinder. And then after the tinder it dries out the kindling. There's a nice big chunk of paper bark or melaleuca bark um, over in the northern hemisphere you get a lot of birch bark. Paper bark is literally like paper. Uh, let's see what you're looking at. Okay. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that's literally like paper. Oh. I hold it in the right place, it helped. I'm looking at the screen, I keep moving my hands the wrong way. Anyway. Very fibrous. It's wet, but we'll use that as well. I might just zoom you out a little bit. Anyway, we'll finish cleaning this off. I haven't used my fire pit for quite a while, as you can see. I said 70% chance of rain today. Well, if there was any rain, I don't think we got much. And I was going out today to do a film. Ah, sorry, a video. But I was a bit underprepared. So I decided I'd do it tomorrow. So what you're going to see tomorrow, if I get the video done in time, I'm going to take you on a tour of three lookouts and four dams. And if I get time, maybe investigate possible camping areas. Not that all to do. I 
Okay, let's get that out of the way. So, so my version of a super match. Let's get down on the wet grass here. Well, also, what we're going to do is time it to see how long it lasts. Now, when I first did this, I used cheap and nasty uh, so-called stormproof matches. One cotton ball, uh, Vaseline cotton ball and some Gorilla Tape. Uh, and that went for a good 10 minutes and still had flame left. What do I do now? Ah, okay, I've only got three. Um, what I do now is, I'm, if I'm going to make a super match, I use four of these tight and stormproof matches. There's only three left in this packet, but anyway. And two cotton balls. Along with the uh, tape. I bought another packet of those recently, so I'm not worried about using the last three here. Got some fat wood there too, or not fat wood, but you know, home wax wood. It's that manufactured stuff. Haven't tried it yet. Oh, that's full of paper bark as well that I just spoke about. Huh, very unprepared again. I was going to use two of these, there's only one left. Anyway, we shall uh, carry on anyway. So I wanted this to be four of those matches and two cotton balls and tape. Now, I've heard some Americans on videos call this stuff gaffer tape. Well, uh, sorry, not gaffer tape, they call it duct tape. Well, in Australia, duct tape comes in silver and black and it's that thin, stretchy stuff. It's very strong. This is what we would refer to as gaffer tape, used in the movie industry. It's, this particular brand is double thick and double sticky. So we need a piece of that. <coughs> right. Now let's have a stick on stick them on like that, space them out a bit and as I say I normally, well last time I did this I used four and I used two of these cotton balls but I've only got one there so we'll just manage with one cotton ball and three of these matches. Now this tape on its own is quite flammable very smelly as well. It's, it's quite, I would imagine, quite toxic fumes come off this stuff. Now I'm going to stick a bit more tape on it. Now, I thought I had a couple of bags of firewood. I was going to do a little stack of firewood here and hose it so that it was wet to simulate trying to start a fire with wet wood. However, I can't find the wood. So that'll do, that's not as good as my usual. As I say, I, last time I did, I used four matches and two of those cotton balls. But anyway, what we'll do is, oh, we'll just stick that paper bark down, that's wet, but we'll just stick it on there anyway. I'll just get the stopwatch ready. And what I'll do is I'll, when I upload this video, I'll fast forward the middle section. We'll see the beginning and the end. I'll fast forward the middle because we don't want to sit here for 10 minutes watching it burn. Now, where's my clock? There's stopwatch. Okay. Started the timer. I 
Not sure how long, long this one's going to go for because there's one less match and one less cotton ball. You see on my lighters that I carry, it's about a metre or one three feet three inches to a metre of tape on each of my lighters. Not much left on that one now. So I've got two in here, I've got another one in my uh, Pathfinder canteen kit. Pardon the traffic noise, I live near a main road. Right, we'll just leave that to burn. I'll get back to you soon. One minute fifty so far. Okay, so, so far we're up to 11 minutes. It's still got flame. You would have noticed the uh, paper bark caught on fire as well, and that was damp, because we have had rain that's been sitting out here in the rain. But it uh, was hot enough to dry the paper bark and catch that on fire, even though it wasn't vigorously on fire, it was still on fire. What you see there now, the last remnants of the flame, which we're just about to lose, I think. So 11 and a half minutes. As I said, normally I would use four of those matches and two cotton balls. I might just bring you in a bit closer now. I've got the gorilla pod wrapped around my parcel trolley. So that's why all the shaking around. Okay. So that's about it. I can't see any more flame. Still got heat there. A bit of flame underneath but anyway well that's up to 12 minutes now so i would say that would easily allow you to dry out some tinder and then kindling uh, and then thumb size firewood uh, in the rain uh, first i would put up a cover if it was really heavy rain i would erect a shelter for myself and also use a drum liner to make a makeshift cover over the fire. Anyway, we'll leave it at that for now. Thanks for watching.